Hi, I'm Sam and welcome to MTI Online, Module 3, Waterproofing and Membranes for Tile and Stone Installation Systems. So today we're going to talk about why waterproofing is important, understanding the difference between liquid applied waterproof membranes, trowel applied, and sheet applied membranes. We're going to review the full waterproofing lineup. Waterproofing for interior and exterior. Um, in interior, we're waterproofing bathrooms, showers, recesses, laundries, kitchens, steam rooms. A lot of times now in commercial buildings, they're going ahead and they're waterproofing the floor above the computer room in case there's a leak or a flood or something happens, it doesn't drain down below and drown out the computer room. Exterior, we're, we're waterproofing the facades, terraces, balconies, planter boxes, retaining walls, swimming pools, and water features. All of these are important, and it's important to understand all of these, what product to use. So typically for walls, when you're waterproofing a wall, it's a continuous monolithic coat. That's a big word, monolithic. What that means is that there's no breaks in the action. I don't waterproof halfway up. If I'm doing a shower, I want to go from the top all the way down to the bottom. And in the corners, I want to make sure that I'm overlapping. And the term is in, in construction is called ship lapping. But what that means is that the top piece comes over as the water runs down and it goes over top of the seam. So the water runs continuously till it gets to the drain. So I'm going to go ahead and do my floor first, then I'm going to waterproof down my walls and I'm going to run it all to the drain. Typical with floors when waterproofing, it needs to be a continuous coat. And on a floor, again, as that water's running down the shower, it's draining to the drain. The floor can't have any seams. One of the biggest problems that's out there in showers is at where the curb is at on a waterproof system. Because I have waterproofing going up the curve, I have waterproofing going up the front wall, and that little corner up front right there is almost always where all the leaks begin at. So it's really important that you make sure that you go ahead and coat that. This is why I like a liquid applied waterproof membrane, because I can basically paint that on and ensure that I have that corner covered. Waterproofing balconies and decks, this is huge here in South Florida, but more and more as high-rise buildings have outdoor spaces, as we become more green, as we become more sustainable, we're going with more natural outdoor spaces. And if that outdoor space underneath it, there is an interior space, you're gonna have to waterproof that. So if water leaks through the system, it doesn't get into that interior space. So we're going to discuss, and we have, we have CAD drawings that you can refer to that'll tell you which products to use and which methods to use to get there. But we'll fill you in on what the products are that can go ahead and handle that. And resilient flooring, like I said before, more and more I'm seeing high-rise buildings where they're just going ahead and having us waterproof the floor, regardless of the fact that it's not a shower or it's not a wet area. It potentially can be a wet area, and they want to protect what's underneath there. Where are we? Well, we're in the handbook. That's where waterproofing is at, the TCA and NA handbook. And it's ANSI 118.10. It's for load-bearing bonded waterproof membranes. Now the key word here, load-bearing. And what that means is that I can stand on top of this waterproof membrane. A waterproof membrane that I put on my roof is not necessarily a waterproof membrane that I would put in my shower because I don't walk on my roof. It's not load bearing. Load bearing is what I can stand on. So this membrane has to have some different characteristics. It has to be rigid enough to hold the weight of the tile, the mortar, and traffic like me and whatever other traffic is involved on top of that floor. Waterproof membranes for thin set ceramic tile. So it has to be able to, re to receive a cementitious mortar on top of it, penetrate it, bond to it, yet not impact the waterproof capabilities of the product. It's extremely important, so make sure all your waterproof membranes meet ANSI 118.10. So let's talk about waterproof products and the accessories. There's a bunch of them out there, but what's really important is to understand where and how I would use these membranes. There's sheet membranes, there's liquid applied membranes, and there's trowel membranes. And the reason for that is every municipality has different codes when it comes to waterproofing. What you can get away with in one county, you might not be able to do in another county. They might call for a liquid applied in one county, and it might have to be a sheet applied membrane in a completely different county in the same state. So you need to check with your local building codes so you understand what products are acceptable to the inspectors. 
This right here, we've culled out just the liquid applied membranes. So let me go over them really quickly. We're gonna talk about Aqua Defense, Map Elastic Turbo, Map Elastic 315, Map Elastic HPG, and Water Stop. Map Elastic Water Stop is a waterproof crack isolation membrane. It's fast drying, 60 to 90 minutes drying time. I can flood test the shower in 12 hours. Flood testing is important, especially when we get into high rise buildings. If you don't know what a flood test is really quickly, basically you waterproof the area. A plumbing inspector comes in, he puts a thick rubber ball into the drain and expands it so it blocks the drain and they fill the tub up or they fill the area up with water and they measure how much water they put in there. And then after 24 hours, they come back and see if any water was lost, went down the drain or leaked somewhere. That's a flood test. So it's easy to apply. You put it on with a roller or a brush and it bonds to a wide variety of surfaces. My Elastic Aqua Defense. Real, this is one of our premier products that is just a roll on. Now I want to point something out. Recently, we have changed the color of Aqua Defense. It used to be dark aqua green. It started off as an aqua green and went to a dark forest green. And we listened to what installers had to tell us. And one of the things they complained about was on job sites that were poorly lit in dark rooms, when they used a pencil to draw a line so they could start installing their tile, they couldn't see the pencil line on the dark green. So what did we do? We didn't change the formula in any way, shape, or form other than we pulled a little bit of pigment out. And so now it's no longer dark green, it's a light mint green. Still the exact same performance that it was before, it's just lighter. So now when I snap a yellow line, a chalk line, a blue one, a red one, or I use a pencil, I can see the pencil line on there. 12 hour drying time, I can flood test after 12 hours, bonds to all kinds of surfaces, swimming pools, fountains, jacuzzis, interior, exterior, fantastic product. You're gonna put two coats on. I'm gonna put the first coat on going north and south and the second coat going east and west. And the reason for that is with a waterproof membrane, you either are or you aren't. If you are 99.9% .9 waterproofed, you have a leak. No other thing in the construction industry at 99.9% .9 would be considered a failure. 99.9% .9 failure when it comes to waterproofing. You have to make sure you are 100%. So we want to put down about a 20 mil gauge, which is about the thickness of a credit card. Two coats with a 3 8 inch nap roller will do it every single time. Next product, Map Elastic Turbo. Again, we listened to what installers said. The one thing was it's about time. With Map Elastic Turbo, it's a rapid setting. I can tile in 90 minutes. I can flood test in three to four hours. So now I can get into a bathroom. I can go ahead and use a rapid setting material to pitch the floors and the drains. Then I can go on top with Map Elastic Turbo. And in three hours, I can flood test. By the end of that day, I can get a yes or a no whether I can go ahead and set my tile in there. It works on substrates with moisture up to 12 pounds or 95% relative humidity. It has a pot life of 40 five minutes. I don't have to mix the whole units. I can mix it in sections. Prevents in-plane cracks up to an eighth of an inch. And it's compatible with Mopace reinforcing fabrics. Now the rule of thumb with fabrics is this. Any gap bigger than an eighth of an inch, I probably want to go ahead and put a fabric over top of that. I don't want to use my liquid applied waterproof membrane as some sort of bridging material. Let's give it a little bit of reinforcement with a fabric on there. Map Elastic Turbo, rock star product, really, really fast setting. Um, uh, we listened to what installers told us and this was the product we came up with. We're gonna check out the Map Elastic Turbo video. All right, so this is Mike again. Um, let's talk about what Mike's doing right there. Well, he's mixing the Map Elastic Turbo. So it comes in a powder and a liquid and it's a two to one formulation. You don't have to mix the whole unit. You mix it, you pour it into a paint pan and now you roll it out. You know, and that's kind of important when it comes to waterproof membranes and primers. You do want to pour them in the paint pans. Um, you don't want to blob a whole bunch of material on there. You're going to go ahead and coat this twice. Um, just for insurance to make sure, because once again, you're either waterproof or you're not waterproof. 
and it's a really easy product to use. I mean, you hand roll it down. What Mike is doing in this in this shot right here is Mike has got the mesh and he, or the fabric, and he's taking care of the corners. First, he took care of the edges. Now he's putting in the corners, and then around the drain, there's there's a drain um, plate or fabric that goes over top and protects the drain. So then, when I go ahead and I install my ceramic tile, I'm not going to have any leaks at all. You want to paint the inside. You can use a brush, you can use a roller. I wouldn't advise spraying it. And in a matter of an hour or two, I'm setting tile right on top. All right, let's talk about reinforcing fabric. It comes in three inch and in three foot. It just depends on your job site and your application that you're using them. But remember, I wanna use the fabric with the roll-on products. I wanna use the mesh with the heavier trowel grade products. The thinner the product, I wanna use the fabric. The mesh, I wanna use with the heavier products. So just keep that in mind. So the fiberglass mesh is alkali resistant, um, specifically used for with 315 and HPG. Both of those are trowel on products and it's got great performance. Both of these can be cut with scissors or razor knives. They're really easy to work with. And the Mappa Band is an interesting product because it's a combination, it's a hybrid product. It's a fabric with a rubber coated middle and it's basically designed for the bottom perimeter and the corners. So there, then when I waterproof over top of that, I've, I've got a, extra protection in those vulnerable areas. So waterproofing, trowel applied membranes. I have two of them, Map Elastic 315 and Map Elastic HPG. Map Elastic 315 has been around for 20, 25 years. It's in thousands of specs all over the world. It's a great product. I wanna mix all of the liquid with all of the powder. I mix them together. The thing here is that I need to make sure to ensure that I have the right size membrane down. I want to use a eighth inch notch trowel, V-notch trowel. I want to trowel it down, then knock those ridges down and then embed the mesh on top of there. And I should be able to bury that mesh. If I flat trowel the mesh on top of the product and I can still see the mesh, I need to add more product. But if I can push the mesh down into the product and not see it, I don't need to add more product. It prevents floor cracks up to a 16th of an inch. It eliminates most surface preparation. It mortar loves to bond to it because it's a cement based product with a liquid applied rubber inside of there. You flood test in 72 hours. Map Elastic HPG is ready to use product. I just open the bucket up and I trowel it down. Prevents in-plane cracks and transmitting through floors. It's durable and flexible. I can install stone after curing of 16 to 24 hours and I can flood test this product in 72 hours. So as you can see, some of this technology is a little bit older. It takes a little bit longer for it to flash off and cure. That doesn't mean it's worse. It just means it's older. Waterproof sheet membranes. Now they roll of the membrane and then I have collars that I can go ahead and put over top of the drain or over the pipe scutions as they're coming out of the walls. I also have pre-made corners inside and out and I have cove for the coves on the floor and up onto the corners of the wall. So you can get a combo pack which comes with the corners and the collar kit, or you can just buy the preformed corners. You can buy the preformed valve collars. You can buy the preformed pipe collars. You can buy the preformed outside corners, or you can just buy the tape. So it's just up to you, depending upon what you need, how big the job is, how big the shower is that you're doing, or what the area that you need to waterproof. And WP200, waterproof sheet membrane for ceramic tile. Um, it is just that, it's a sheet membrane. Now this product right here will be accepted in all municipalities in every absolute instance, okay? There are some municipalities that don't accept liquid applied membranes. MoppaGuard WP200 is not a liquid applied membrane, it is a sheet membrane. I'm gonna put this product down by spreading mortar on the wall and then embedding this in there. Um, for a residential, commercial, interior, exterior use, polyethylene sheet with a laminated non-woven polypropylene fabric on both sides, has a low perm rating, meets ASTM E96. Look at that, that's pretty bit impressive. Uniform thickness with a thin profile and it's lightweight for easy and fast handling. Tell you what, let's check out the video. So you can see John has the mortar spread onto the wall and he's got the roll of the WP200. 
Um, he's getting it in place because just getting it started is the hardest part. And then he probably he already drew a line on the wall to make sure that he rolled it down the wall properly. Um, it cuts easy. It's a four part system. The four parts of the system are the WP200 sheet membrane, the collars, the corners, and the sealing tape that goes in between the seams. You always want to go ahead and make sure at all the seams that you put the sealing tape on there. I'm going to put mortar, and then I'm going to go ahead and put that tape over top. Then you can smooth the mortar out with the flat side of your trowel, and you wind up with a complete system from top to bottom that's in a sheet membrane format, will be accepted in any and all commercial, residential, and industrial applications. Um, WP200. This is the waterproofing products and accessories. Thank you for watching.